So once you're all done working in your virtual box, there, you have a couple options. So like I said, this is just like an additional computer inside of your other computer. So you have shutdown and logout options as with any other. So you can either shut it down. You can also put it to sleep. So you have a couple different options. So I'm going to shut mine down. I can either restart it or shut down. And so now when I come back to my VirtualBox manager, it says that I'm powered off. But the other thing you can do is, here I'll start back up again. The other option I have for shutting down is to log out or suspend. And I can just simply close it. If I want to log back in, I type 117. But if I just close the window, VirtualBox asks me if I want to power off the machine or save the machine state or send the shutdown signal. So what you can do is if you're in the middle of working on a project, but you want to keep your virtual box state saved so that all your windows and files and everything will be open the way they were, your files are always saved. But if you want the windows open, the terminal and the editor windows open, you can save the machine state. And then you can see instead of powered off, I see that my my 117 image is saved